this look you would think cost a thousand dollars okay maybe not a thousand dollars but definitely looks like it's a look that costs some money yay like oh oh we but luckily everything that i will be showing you in today's video is literally by miss a and you will not break the bank so right now i am swatching the lumi glow complexion boosters and these are supposed to help aid in a dewy glow to your base routine and i'm actually going to be going in with enlighten which is that one at the very top that looks a lot like my complexion and i'm actually going to mix that in with another Another primer and that primer is called inner self youthful glow primer and I wanted to do the two because I wanted to make sure I still had <laughs> kind of like the primer says a youthful glow and an undertone that definitely represented mine with all the products that I'm about to put on my face so once I applied everything I went in with a brush and I just blended everything together and really pressed it into my skin honestly as soon as you put it on and you mix it too. First of all, the hydration is crazy. It feels so good. And I'm an oily skin girl. I normally would stay away from stuff like this, but honestly, I can see myself incorporating this into my, my regular makeup routine. Like it was really, really nice. I, I really liked the feeling that it gave me with my makeup, especially considering that a lot of the products that I use are matte, but this was literally perfect. And then I went in with the Flawless Liquid Concealer. Um, I will make sure I drop everything down in the description if you want specific shades, but I am going to go in with this and start my base routine. There's so much to unpack here in this video, but just know, like I said, everything is affordable. Everything is by Miss A and you can literally go on their website and type in everything that I use and get the same thing. Literally amazeballs. So after I get done applying this on, I'm actually going to go in with a matte setting spray it's the flawless matte setting spray you do have to spray her from a distance because she is very very strong as you can see i literally had to distance myself when i sprayed myself and then i'm going to fan myself off because i don't want to go immediately in to blending out because sometimes if the base or the product is still a little too wet you can risk separating the product and you don't want that to happen so after you let it dry down a little bit then i'm going to go in with this is actually a brush from miss a as well i believe it's like an hd buffing brush and i really really like this to blend out my concealer it's very precise too so what i normally like to do is i like to start around the edges and make sure the edges are nice and blended and giving like a filter like blend and then i work my way to the inside and i don't really like to tap it too much when i go inside because i want to keep that full coverage look now the next thing woo i'm not gonna lie to you guys this one almost had me like do i need to start my makeup over because baby a little and i mean a little like a pinch will go around the world and back but we'll get to that when we get to that but like i said i'm blending this house with the hd buffing brush and i am making sure i am very precise and where i keep it because i don't want this to be all over my face i want to keep it in the locale that i placed it now i'm gonna go in with the hue days liquid blush so as you can see i'm gonna swatch it for you when I tell you these babies are pigmented, this was a lot on my hand and it was still so much product. I literally could have just kept what was on my hand and like used a little bit on my finger. But watch what I put on my face. You would think I didn't put too much on my face. However, when I went to blend everything out, I was like, oh, oh yeah, this just went from regular base routine to makeup underpainting because there was so much blush even my the brush that I was using to blend it out was like baby you either gonna have to wipe this off or you're gonna have to go in with a different brush because there's too much of me on here I was like she is pigmented Miss A did not play when it came to pigment and coverage with this blush you can literally do a full glam blush look or you can do a soft subtle one just depending on how heavy your hand is when you're applying this but I went in and I chose Scarlet Letter and Rosie Ray I'm sorry Rosie Ray and I actually placed Rosy Ray above Scarlet Letter because Scarlet Letter was a little bit darker and I wanted an ombre effect with the blush. I don't know if you guys remember that trend, but that ombre blush trend is actually so beautiful and I miss doing it. I used to do it so much last year and the year before that, but I had to bring it back for this look because it was just absolutely gorgeous. But this is me going back in with the concealer because like I said, it was so much blush that I was like, this look is gonna look crazy. 
if I don't go in and make sure everything is still married together. So then I went in with my powder puff brush and then in the same angle, that nice lifted angle effect, I actually just started blending it into the blush because it actually ended up toning the blush down exactly the way I wanted it to be. Also, sorry guys, if you hear my kids in the background, you guys know I have a full house and they do not care if mommy is recording. They're like, girl, get your life. You record it, we let you record, okay? but they're gonna get this work this noise in the background so i'm gonna try to deliver now this is the same concealer as what i use under my eyes however it's just darker and i actually like to use this to contour slash bronze um i just feel like me personally i will use it for bronzing because it gives more of a bronzing effect and it does contour because it's not that dark it looks like it's more of my actual skin tone because you know our foreheads um are a little naturally darker because it's the first part that sunlight hits. So I made sure that when I got this, it wasn't too dark because like I said, I'm not trying to contour. I wanted to make sure it was giving bronze. So once I blended that in and I put it on my cheeks as well, I blended an upward motion and I blend going from like, I guess down my cheek to up my cheek, if that makes sense, like towards my ear, just because I don't wanna drag it down and have like a like beard effect going on my face. Now, yes, don't get me wrong, this foundation is completely bright. But you know, honestly, after looking at this video again, it doesn't look so bad after it's set. So I don't know if it oxidized, which I'm assuming it did, but don't be alarmed. I, I, it looks crazy, but as I started putting it over the blush and the contour slash bronzer it actually helped tone everything down to the look that i was actually trying to achieve so i was really really happy with it but this is the pure complexion liquid foundation and i'm actually going to go in with the um oh my gosh it is a it's called hello define duo and it's, it's in the shades aloha but we'll get to that point too but as you can see it toned down everything and gave everything to a more manageable base because before it was looking real like girl do you know what you're doing i do just sometimes i think my my hand forgets i think when i be pushing my brushes my brushes get a little little cocky and forget who's really in charge here so after spraying myself again with a matte setting spray because you know i'm gonna do this probably like two more times in this video i go in with the brush that i use to apply my foundation and i press i press that setting spray in so that way it acts as exactly what it is <laughs> setting spray and set my makeup then i go into the um i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm actually reading off a list here because i use so many products so bear with me because i did not put this in an order that makes sense but um i don't even know if i wrote it down but it's basically oh wait a minute i almost found it guys hold on i'm gonna find it again oh my gosh it got lost <laughs> it was called flawless setting and finishing powder i kept reading over it because i thought it was a setting spray but i'm not gonna lie to you guys i am not the conventional like content creator don't expect me to go back in and try to redo that frame i'm not gonna do it because why would i do that i mean it is what it is we all like tend to forget the products we use i use a lot of products in this video okay just know that the look still serve but like i said i ended up going into the hello define duo and that was in the shade aloha if you pr look at my previous miss a videos a lot of these products that i'm using you'll actually see me using those in those same videos and they're literally perfection so when i wanted to tone down that foundation and that concealer this is what i use in that duo palette it was literally perfect because it gave my complexion back like i was just like oh, yes and then i went in with two blushes i went in with a cherry blossom powder blush and then once again like i said i went into the hello define duo because it has like a pressed powder that it's almost like a finishing pressed powder and it has a blush in there but i don't think the act the other one is actually like a pressed powder i think it's meant to be a bronzer but it was too much of my skin tone to be a bronzer so i use it as a blush but i use the cherry blossom powder blush first and now i'm gonna go in there's that palette the hello define and i'm gonna use that pink and i'm really gonna put that above that just to give that nice ombre effect back because like i said we had to go in and underpaint everything so now i'm going to go into the fan club six color eyeshadow palette and because i didn't have an actual powder bronzer to set everything i i went in with that middle shade in there the second shade and i just like to use that as my bronzer whenever i'm using like miss a products just because it's really soft and you don't have to worry about it being like too dark because there was other shades in there but they were either too dark or it was really cool tone and i didn't want that for myself so i'm using it on my cheeks i'm going to use it on my forehead 
and I'm actually gonna put some on my jawline if I'm not mistaken. I'm honestly re-watching this video at the same time you guys are, so if you're like, girl, what you mean? I think so. Maybe I'm watching it when you are. I'm just giving you the details. But now I'm pressing everything in with that foundation brush again because once again, like I said, don't we, we're gonna go back in and we're always going to blend everything together. So now I'm going into the sculpting brow pencil and I'm just going to do my brows. So one thing about brows, I tell anybody, the best thing to do for one, if you don't have a brow gel, get one. Lay those brows down. Also clean up your brows. Take an eyebrow razor and clean them up because it makes doing your brows so much easier also try to go in with a dark dark brown deep brown or ash grays i feel like unless you have black hair it's a little different but i just feel like blacks are too harsh and then um follow your natural arch don't try to draw on your brows just follow how your actual eyebrows are um keep it dark towards the ends keep it really light handed in the front that way you have that nice gradient look for your brows um, and now I'm just taking that spoolie and I'm blending them out so they don't look too dark and so that they don't look like too drawn on. We want them to just look like I done got these things filled. Oh my gosh, I think I just hit my microphone on my chest. So if you got, I just did it again. If you guys hear something undesirable, that was me. I'm so sorry. But I'm going back in with that concealer again and I'm going to clean up my brows now. I'm not going to do above my brows because I just set everything with powder and that's going to look crazy. And also this concealer is brighter than my actual skin tone so we're not gonna go back to the whole 2014 halo brow thing we're not doing that that's not cute sis so i'm just gonna take that and i'm gonna clean up underneath my brows and create that nice highlight on my brow bone um i'm not gonna take it down on my lid because i actually have a primer and i don't normally use those and I was actually shocked when I did. Now, I guess I didn't write that one down, the primer. Um, I'll put it somewhere on the bottom of the screen for you guys. But I actually really like that primer. I normally be like, oh, anytime I use a primer, it separates or the color doesn't actually stick. What I like about this primer is that when you put it on, like so, um, and then you go to immediately blend out, like I said, it does not too liquidy. It's actually very tacky like it's like sticky but not like overly sticky like it it was really really good like i would definitely keep using this um because you guys know i still use concealers for my bases but no this one was actually really really good and i really like the way the shadow adhered to the base this is something that if you're tired of using your concealers or trying or tired of having to buy a concealer this base is actually really good but I'm going back into that fan club six color eyeshadow palette and I'm only going to use two shades out of that um it is that cool tone brown in there and then that this deep chocolate brown in there and I'm going to use that cool tone one as my transition shade and I'm really going to pack her on until I feel like I got the intensity and the color that I want then with this brush because it's very fluffy I'm just going to go and I'm just going to buff her out so the edges aren't harsh I'm not really looking for any uniformity here just because I really just wanted that color on there and I wanted to make sure she was fanned out nice and pretty so she was still rise to the transition like shade that she is um and then after i lay that on there like i said i'm going to go into that dark chocolate one and i'm going to focus that one in my crease but i am going to take a clean brush and then i am going to disperse her edges out and make sure that those are also nice and fluffy rather than a harsh dark line so this is me actually packing the color on right now which is crazy color theory is so crazy because in the palette she looks like a regular dark chocolate but on my face she has like this reddish purplish undertone and I, I don't i don't know why but it still worked it was still really pretty so like i said i'm gonna take that brush and i'm just gonna fan out the edges just so nothing looks harsh Now to add some glitter. So I'm gonna go in with the Liquid Lights eyeshadow. All of these colors are so pretty. That silver one gave me winter Christmas vibes. That second one gave me new year. And then this one, honestly, you can really use all these for any like season, but I just felt like this one definitely gave like that nice fall season effect. This one's in the shade Sepia, Sepia. Y'all know that filter. And I'm actually gonna cut my crease with this. So I've had run-ins with 
um, liquid eyeshadows and most of the time I don't like them because they move or they never like you know they just they never dry down this one I'm like actually touching it right now because my makeup is still on it dries down so fast and you'll see what I mean by so fast because the eyeshadow look isn't quite over yet but I started cutting my crease with this and she was very liquidy so I was like okay I'm just gonna make sure I cut it in an area where if I look up or blink it's not going to transfer so I also started fanning her because I was really hoping that it would dry down because these colors are too pretty so then I went back in with a transition shade and I started to create an ombre effect on the eye so normally when I do stuff like this um I have to worry about the eyeshadows mixing and then now the the liquid and the powders are just creating this ugly patchy effect no she dries down so quickly and it's so easy to blend with the shadow I was actually very shocked and I was very focused because I was just like this is the first and I was really like really loving how well this liquid eyeshadow was just treating me I was just so into it it was just really perfect I I 10 out of 10 is like not doing her justice she broke the scale for me she was literally giving like triple that so like 30 out of 10 she was like baby I'm about to give you life. I would definitely keep using this one too. So now I'm gonna use the Eyes On Me Vivid Liquid Liner. This one's obviously in black and I just wanted to create kind of like an angled liner. I didn't really want to do a wing. I thought about it, but I was like, yeah, no. I, I don't know why, I just think wings are more of like a winter thing for me and I wanted to keep this fall, but I felt like the angled liner was definitely it. So after I put that on, oh, for one, this liner is so pigmented and so like full coverage, you only need to dip it in once only um she's amazing but then i did go back in with the dark brown that i used in my crease and i did that just to create a nice transition between the liner and my eyeshadow and then i took whatever was left on the blush a blush <laughs> i took whatever was left on the brush and i kind of just swiped it under my eye so that everything started to look cohesive and married together and it was amazing so then i went in with the big boss mascara and this was honestly just to go ahead and start prepping my eyes because i am going to put lashes on now i did not have any lashes from miss a so you guys aren't going to see me apply these said lashes nor did i have any glue so i'm just going to skip over that and i believe i went straight into adding my beauty marks back just because i love doing that um i always feel like it just also adds like that that feeling of like when you take parsley and you like sprinkle it over the food like that's <laughs> that's kind of how i feel about doing beauty marks on uh, like with makeup so if you have beauty marks on your face or even if you don't just test it out one day just take that black liquid liner whether it's like a a liner pen or a regular just liquid liner just take that and just put some beauty marks on your face i'm putting them where i naturally have beauty marks and I just, like I said, I just feel like it just adds that like extra oomph and it's just so amazing. So I actually had a lip liner from Miss A, but I lost her. So I had to figure out something. So I'm going back into that palette of that dark brown that I use in my transition shade, which once again, this is crazy because on my eyes, she looked purple or had like a reddish undertone, but on my lips, she's giving brown. I don't understand whatever I, it could have just been the transition shade that i used to but it, either way i'm using her as my lip liner just because i like i said I, I could not find the one that i had um but i actually ended up liking the way this one came out and you know normally i go for my regular regular with a nude lip i'm not gonna lie to y'all i changed it up a bit i did i really did and i i'm really proud that i did because she ate and now i have a new lip combo that does not break my pockets like oh my gosh like i used to use this other brand to do this specific look around the holiday season around like the seasons but i got this one now baby i'm so in love so yes i decided to do a red ombre lip and this is the best red ombre lip that i've done like before normally when i would do these the other lipsticks would mix and i'm just like ah, it came out the way I, th I thought it would but just something about it's not right no 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 no. this one this one did exactly what i wanted her to do like even my husband my husband doesn't even like red lipstick but he was like oh yeah this is it he said that lip looks amazing and even now because like i said i still have all my makeup on which is uncommon normally when i sit down and do my voiceovers baby i this stuff was already off my face like i 
we'd already have a clean face. I'm talking make routine done. No. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all what the heck I used. So that was a Chroma 401 lipstick. I'm so sorry. But um, the next thing that I used was the, well, last thing that I used, the Face Glaze Highlighter. And I used the shade Gleam, which is this one that you're seeing me apply now. Normally don't use highlighters like that anymore, but this one actually, it, it did it for me. And I said that because I'm using a liquid on top of a powder. And I love the fact that once again, it did not separate or make my stuff look cakey. It just did the job. It said, I'm gonna lay down and act right. I was so happy but this is the finished look guys um like i said i changed my quality for the main video and i shouldn't have but if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want all the products make sure to check my description and you know subscribe to my channel y'all and let me know if you love this look and i cannot wait to see you guys in the next video bye